Well, you know, I've I've gotten frustrated at throwing stuff before, but when you start, uh, we can keep going round and round. Mm -hmm. Self mutilation is a whole different ball game. Are right, you ready for that guy? Ready. All right. The line, the official line when JP's way, had enough. Yeah, he doesn't think that's enough. By the way, Brett was most harmed in the official whiteout incident. Yeah. It was no right. self harm. He was, but, but I feel like I hit pretty good. I feel like I bought my way out of the anger as best I could. Sure. <laughs> wait, wait, what did you do? In fact, do? the hat I'm wearing now, the all black uh, Yankees oh hat. God. This is a replacement one. I gave oh, him, I gave him my... because I was wearing this hat on the on on that day and white whiteout got all over. Oh. Yeah, that's I your gave face. Him money to replace the entire outfit, I think. Uh -huh. So yeah. you threw money at the problem. Well, I thought the only thing you could do. I ruined clothes of, yeah. of his. It's uh, you know, mm -hmm. if I was at his house and I ruined his couch, I would pay right. to have his couch cleaned. Or if I puked in his car, I would pay to have his, <laughs> you know, all these horrible things. <laughs> and they came so quickly to your brain. Like if I did this, if I did that. If I murdered his family, I would <laughs> pay for the funeral. I would. It's just the way it is. It's the way it works. He's a giving guy. Have the blood splattered walls uh, replaced. It's New quite, rock. It's quite a leap for buying somebody a hat. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit, a little bit. <laughs> All right, I got a guy, a white guy, American guy, uh, you know from uh, business. And the business is still, because uh, it's going to be the question you ask. White guy, American guy, business. Um, and the business is still around. Okay. Um, does the business have to do with sports? No. Okay. Monica. Did he start his business in the 1970s? No. He did yeah. not. Yeah. I don't think. <laughs> I don't think. <laughs> no. Yes. Feel like that? Yeah. Oh, wait, 1973. Give yeah. me a bell if it's yes, because <laughs> screw that buzzer. Uh, maybe. Huh? Well, we've we got from no to maybe. Let's go. So fast. Hold on. Monica, you're half correct so far. Uh, possibly. I need a ding. I, hold on. Hold on. Uh oh. <laughs> Please hold. Yeah. Your dead guy guesses are important to us. <laughs> Please. <laughs> stay by the radio. <laughs> your dead guy guesses are important to us. They are, though. Oh, yeah. I love how they, they can't, they're not just a date of when this business started no, and you can do some math. they not launch in the 70s. Uh, exactly. The question was, when did the business start? They're not starting in the 70s. Uh, hey, double, I already buzzer. got a buzzer. I don't need another buzzer. buzzer. I didn't All right, that you was had the cheapest. research. Oh, my That's God. That's how it goes. The audience forgot. Yep. Brett, Ruth, uh, did he do this during our lifetime? Yes. Yes. That's a ding, Monica. That's sure. what it sounds oh, like. Oh, is that what that is? Thank you. <laughs> One day you'll hear it. 800-771-1025-727-579-1025. Oh, the phone numbers. White guy, American guy, you know, from business. Hmm. Um, the business is still active. It did not launch in the 70s. And it had nothing to do with sports. All right. Roger and JP, 1025 The Bone, Real Raw Radio. I'll be right back with that guy in the envelope.